Well, this would be the fourth video in my Dear Me series. You may remember Dear Me as that thing that was trending on International Women's Day, and let's just remember that we all come from women, and every day is International Women's Day. But I digress. I'm doing this video now because I did a video on procrastination, and, well, let's face it, I said I don't let myself off the hook, so here it is. Me not letting myself off the hook. I have to do every video I plan to do for this, despite the fact that it's months later, no longer trending, and it's more me than anyone else. Well, hey, sometimes talking about it helps, huh? So here goes. Dear me at 20, your sister is about to try and take your inheritance away from your mother. She's going to try and kick you out on the street. For the last two years, you've been waiting for your family to give you the money that they've been giving her for college. And now that she's graduated, she feels that you're entitled to nothing and her everything. There are two things you need to learn about this. One of those things is make yourself perfectly clear. You need to march up to your father and say, you gave Amber money for four years of college. Now I need help. Where's mine? Don't you love me? He doesn't. But, you know, hey, at least you should make him prove it. Prove that he doesn't, anyway. And the other thing is, don't wait for people to help you, because they generally don't. Never depend on others for the completion of your life or for your happiness. You are you, the only person you can trust, and you need to get up there and you need to fight every day of your life. You're going to have to fight for decency, you're going to have to fight for justice, and you're going to have to fight for everything you have. You're dangerously depressed. That's not your fault. But the people whose fault it is are never going to wake up and say, Oh, gee, I guess I should have done something better. Let me help you. It doesn't work that way. Take charge of your own well-being. That's the advice I need to give my 20-year-old self. And let's face it. There is no person in this world who shouldn't take charge of their own well-being. I'm Richard Neal. And I feel a lot better. I do believe I have four more of these to go. Stay tuned.